Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review. Three different sneakers, uh, same model, different variations of that model. It is the Kobe 9. Uh, we do have the engineered mesh or the EM in the back right here. We have the Elites right here, and this is my Nike ID version. And then we have the EXT uh, mids right here. And so I wanted to give you guys kind of a comparison of all three of the sneakers at once. I was going to do detailed review videos of these two separately, but I decided to do these together. But I wanted to give you guys kind of a full breakdown, so this might be a longer video, uh, just a heads up on that. But there's a lot of things to compare. At first glance, you really think that they're really, really similar, but the overall construction of all three sneakers are actually completely different. Um, there are some elements, though, that are very, very similar or exactly the same, uh, which are the soles, I believe, uh, and kind of the midsole. But other than that, the whole entire upper, the tongue, the collar design on the back you can see back here is totally different uh, but the insoles are the exact same so anyway let's go over the price points the EMs right here price point is $160 um, so these ones again are buck sixty and then you move on these ones are normally two hundred dollars and these are the elites but this is a Nike ID version so these ones actually were the most expensive out of these up here this is two forty five the, the model I don't have, uh, which are the, the high tops, are 225 for the elite high tops. And then for the mids, uh, these ones right here are actually um, the price point of, of uh, 225 as well. So, the, and these ones are the, the mids, and they're really, really premium materials. Um, you get premium materials on the, the fly knit as well, but I like that they did a leather version. Uh, really, really nice quality, and there's my face right there. <laughs> that's awkward uh through the reflection i'll just go like that but uh pretty pretty crazy looking sneaker uh there as well um wanted to show you guys that these midsoles are exactly the same for all three um it says kobe on the back or on the side right there has like an x or i don't even i guess it's a fish <laughs> on that side and then it says uh lunar lawn down there on the corner bottoms pretty much exactly the same does have the size in the middle it says nine five and then that one says ten um because two of the three of these are uh, size ten um uh, i like to i actually like these ones a little bit uh, bigger um personally i just i like the the size ten a bit a little bit better than the size nine a little bit more comfortable for me now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um i'll try to get in here and grab this so you guys can see a close-up of these because this is a big difference between the three of these and the backs of these sneakers so look up here and see like the difference in size so and, and I guess this is probably best to put these next to each other first so you can see the difference between the mid and the uh, the low so there is a, a pretty big size difference between the mids and the lows the lows definitely and these the EM lows I'm speaking of um, definitely ride a little bit lower than uh, the uh, the EXTs and you can see right right i mean uh, i'm i'm losing it there's so many different ones here they ride lower than the uh elites as you can see right here so this elite material right here sticks up and i'll try to do like a side thing like that you can see the difference in height as you scale it and go to the from the right to the left there um so it is definitely low um a little bit higher and then you, you have the mid uh on these three now from the back the uh the paneling is a little bit different. I mean, you can see that this has the notches across the entire back. Also, this has a little bit of a wing um, on the back area uh, towards on the heel cup. And then this one actually just comes up to a point, um, which is a little bit different. And these notches are a lot smaller. It doesn't go down the entire thing. I don't know if that if it's this way on the regular pair. This is the way it came on my Nike ID. Um, I didn't like do any ID thing in the back area right there. And then also you can see the midsole right here looks pretty much the same as it comes around. And then it has a Kobe logo, and I'll try to get the, the other one in here as well. It has a Kobe logo right here, and that's consistent on all three. But this comes back around, and it scoops back around, consistent on all three as well. Uh, this one, I think they did something really crazy with these little bump things. They, they inverted it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's like inverted, and then underneath there, you can see the snakeskin. Um, so it's kind of like a little vent. Pretty cool. Really like the, the design element of that. Um, I like this actually better than the other two. Uh, just because it adds a little bit of extra and then this is extra like rubbery um, on the back part area here and this is just this is just uh, fly knit and then this one has like kind of a textured uh, material on on the back end there um let's see here 
As for, and I guess, you know, we'll go, we'll go ahead and go look at the tongues now because trying to do this as creatively as I can as holding the box here is not the, the best, but uh, I'm just doing what I can here for you guys. Probably need a lower camera or something like that. But uh, you can see the tongues, the shapes are, are different as well. You can see this one on this side right here uh, comes up to a little bit of a T or not a little bit of a T, a little bit of a, a point right here. This one's definitely a fatter version of what this one is. And then this one's just an all around straight, straight across. It's not angled at all for the tongue. So, uh, so there is definitely a huge difference between all three tongues, as you can see right there as well. Um, from the front area, you can see that, the, again, the midsole area, and I'll show you the soles here in a second, all the same. But then, of course, you have the engineered mesh, and then the fly knit, and then the leather, and this one has a snake skin. This one does have a Nike swoosh right down there, which is kind of nice and clever, uh, hidden in the, the sneaker. And I like that because uh, this really is, that's the only Nike branding on this one. I actually didn't notice that until right now, is that little itty-bitty Nike swoosh. Uh, right on the front there that's it and then you have no other nike swooshes on here so uh that being said if you look at this one obviously you have a huge nike swoosh there and then this one so it's fairly consistent um across these two and they both have the swooshes on the inside also the, the placement on the inside swoosh is different uh on these ones but um let's see here i wanted to show you guys a comparison between the side view as well as best i can this is like difficult as hell, man. But uh, you can see that they all have this kind of, they come up and they have the little notches. This one doesn't, just regular material, plastic. This one's obviously the carbon fiber, which is a huge step up. And then this one is this shiny metallic material um, that kind of overtook the, the plastic on the Elites. Um, so, I mean, on the Elite, I wish I should have, I should have brought my LeBrons out. But on the Elite LeBrons, it's not carbon fiber, it's this on the 2014 versions. Um, or the, the, the LeBron uh, 11s. But yeah, before they had carbon fiber on all the leads. So it's interesting that the LeBrons, it's not consistent. The LeBrons took a turn and had this material on the elites. The, these ones stayed true to the, to the material and, and has the, that material. Now I should, I should have actually, I actually have a pair of the elite Kobe's as well from the previous. Um, but I don't have them out. I've, always things I think about after, like an afterthought, but uh, soul wise if you guys wanted to see I'm trying to do a comparison of all three I know this is a really shot shoddy job of a video apologize for all the fumbling around but um, I didn't really plan for this I'm trying to do this video before my wife gets home from work <laughs> so that's my excuse but here's a maybe I can do this real quick here's a look at all three souls just so you can see them side by side by side there's the Kobe logo down there on the bottom there's the foot printing sort of on all three of them, they're all exactly the same. So, uh, for the the soles, if if you're looking at for like longevity for wear and tear and stuff, the engineered mesh for the soles and stuff is going to be the exact same as the other ones. Engineered mesh will still last quite a while, in my opinion. Uh, I have like like um, lunar lunar glides. I have like, like the lunar glide one through the lunar glide six, uh, and the engineered mesh holds up really quite well. That being said, flying it is is definitely like, and as you can see this up close, this is definitely like way more durable than the uh, the engineered mesh. So this would definitely hold up pretty well uh, as well. So you get kind of what you pay for in in some sense, and then this is for the elite. And of course, this thing is just beastie. This leather on here is really nice. This uh, kind of crocodile print is pretty badass in my opinion. And uh, leather liner on the collar on this one even. I mean, that's pretty sweet, dude. All, all in all, these things, like, are really, like, more of a luxury, almost, sneaker. Because of the, the leather and the croc pattern. And, and then you have this cool gum sole on it. And then, um, and check out the lo big, like, metal logo. This is actually metal. And then even the lace tips are metal, which I, I didn't realize in, in the unboxing. But then you have that... Kobe Comfort. That's like the best part about these is you have that Kobe Comfort with the Lunar Lawn midsole. I mean, these things are like, at first I was like, yeah, they look clunk, clunky almost, but as soon as you put them on, you're like, oh my gosh, like it's, it's a Kobe 9 in, in the, uh, kind of the mid top, which I prefer, uh, as well. Just kind of like the, um, Flynet Chuckas. I've, I, um, I personally prefer the, the Chucka versus the regular one. 
uh, because or the low top one because I just like the overall look. I like the mids a lot better uh, as well. I, so I really think that the mids would be dope if they made other ones. I don't know how I would like them without this kind of uh, like the snakeskin crocodile snakeskin or whatever prints. Obviously, it should be snake because of the Kobe thing. Now this also does have uh, reflective material underneath these little eyelet thing or this little scale kind of openings for ventilation. There's actually 3M reflective underneath it, so. Uh, pretty cool that they actually added that in as well. Uh, all in all, I'd have to say, if you're trying to choose one of the sneakers, I mean, I, I think the, the question that I get asked the most is, you know, should I get a Nike ID of the uh, Kobe 9 EMs or should I go with the Elites? Um, I know I've for sure been asked that question multiple times. Um, I say, honestly, get what, whichever ones you really like. These ones are more expensive. Um, if th These ones actually have way more options to, uh, of colors. So these ones only had three different uppers, the multicolor, which everybody kind of went crazy over there. I want, I really like the black ones and then the other gray ones. These ones, you have a ton of different colors, different variations, like different prints. Very, very nice uh, sneakers. So for the money, um, you can't really go wrong with that. If you do have a little extra and you, you like some of the design elements from these, you might as well go with it. Um, these ones sat on shelves a little bit uh, here and there. They didn't sell out like crazy. Price point, again, is really high, but... Again, if you can afford it, it's a really, really nice sneaker. Uh, you won't be let down for the price point. I mean, even though it's like expensive, you look at the, the shoe and then you, you wear the shoe and you're like, man, these are actually legit. Like if you're a Kobe fan, it's it's like a little icing on the cake because it's just like, it's like another uh, model that's just really, really nice. But hopefully this was a nice little comparison for you guys. I apologize. It's probably not the best comparison. Uh, maybe I should go like this. Um, I don't know how to lay these videos out. You know, it's, it's kind of a work in progress thing. Um, I do these things for fun for you guys. And, uh, and you know, I, you know, I'm, it's like an always ever evolving, um, sort of thing. And maybe that's like a side by side for all three of them. So you can really see the difference between uh, all three models, but hopefully again, you guys found it helpful. If you guys did give it a thumbs up. Um, and, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel and shout out to everybody that watches the videos on a regular and supports uh, um, myself and uh, CollectiveKicks.com. You guys rock. Um, and, uh, yeah, have a good one, and, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace, guys.